Hey everybody, happy, I don't know, Wednesday? It's Wednesday. You know we got uh, comedy night at the joint. Late night hump tonight, 8 o'clock. This is um, raw cocoa butter right here. Somebody asked me to make um, cocoa butter infused. So I'm actually infusing raw cocoa butter. So that's what I'm doing right now. So this is the cocoa butter. And then I'm going to whip it. I'm going to put some type of emollient in it. And then I'm going to whip it. This is not going to be... Um, this is going to be for topical use. This is not going to be for... Um, this is not going to be for uh, eating. So this is topical. I don't mind. I'm just cleaning up my dishes from when I... So this is the cocoa butter. And I get... Um, I get raw cocoa butter and actually raw shea butter too you actually can eat this but I'm using it topically I also get raw shea butter I use that for um, my son because it makes his skin oh so soft oh my goodness gracious so I'm just melting this down and then I'm gonna infuse it so this is gonna be the newest thing at the joint is gonna be the cocoa butter so I'm going to make it the same way I make all my um, dilutions, 16 ounces to an ounce. All right, but we'll see how this, um, how this is. So this will really be topically, you can use it for pain, stuff like that. All right. So it's melting here. And I did make an announcement, yes, 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 we are going to be opening the sanctuary back up soon. So to limited, it's going to have limited space because um, you're going to have 50% capacity. So when you come in, you get all your stuff and everything, people can sit in, you know, sit and chill and hang out and stuff and really experience the joint. Uh, the sanctuary has been closed because we couldn't utilize the inside of the building. So that's why Ed had the vendors there because we couldn't use the inside. Now that uh, Murphy just lifted some of the restrictions, you can have 50% occupancy. I'm going to get back to doing the stuff that we do. But this is my cocoa butter. I was going to put shea butter in here too, but I think I'm just going to leave it plain cocoa butter. So this is the cocoa butter, and it's going to be whipped cocoa butter. So we'll see how it comes out. This is my first attempt at uh, doing cocoa butter. All right. So I'm just melting it down now. I'm uh, decarbing my weeds. This like stinks. There is no way to do this without stinking up. Well, actually there is. You can actually put something on top of this. But then when you take it off, it stinks. So either or, you can't win when you're decarbing the weed. All right, so we have two minutes left and then 10 more minutes on that stuff. Don't mind me because I'm cleaning my house. So this is the cocoa butter. All right. So this will be available. I'm gonna try this. People like to use topical stuff for pain, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out. <clears throat> Let's see if I got a crock pot. I'm gonna pull this out of the oven. Do, 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 do. Oh, we are making um, cocoa butter. Infused cocoa butter. This is topical. This is not to eat. I'm making some cocoa butter. And I'm infusing it. And this is for topical. Oh, hello, hello. Okay, so let's come over here. And let's get our weed. So I got this here weed. I don't know if I can get this out of here. Okay. So this is the one. We got 10 minutes more on the other one. Let me pull this other one out. I decided to make a little bit more. And again, you see, I got shake and trim. All right, so we'll see. We'll see if, uh, like I said, I've never used anything topically. 
I have a lot of pain though, but it's, uh, I got stenosis, so I don't know if you could even get to the stenosis. So here's my stuff. I'm going to put this into a bag. So let me get my bag. I use a milk bag. Let me turn you around. Oh, somebody's here. All right. Watch out, Rachel. I'm doing a live. All right, so this is the milk bag. This is going into the uh, hot oil. That's why I don't have gloves on. And I just washed my hands, so I'm not worried. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everybody gets so upset when they see me with no gloves on. It's unbelievable the things that people are obsessed with. So I wash my hands. I watch people put gloves on and then I watch them scratch their nose and scratch their ass and do everything else. But my hands are clean. Like I said, this is still going to be cooked, so. And this is not for eating. This is a topical. This is a topical. And this is all shake and trim. It's my favorite to cook with. Hey, Nick, thank you. Okay, so here we go. That's that. I got, uh, I guess, 10 more minutes on the other stuff. Let's see. Yep, there I am. So this is my uh, shake and trim all drying up. You see the steam. This was really, really wet. Not wet. It was sticky, sticky. So, whew, Jesus Christ. Got it all stuck in my hand. All right, so all right, so that's that. So here's my shake and my trim. I'm gonna infuse this right into this. So it's actually going right into here, and then it's gonna cook. This is cocoa butter. Cocoa butter for topical use, so th that you put on you, not that you put in you. But I'm tempted to add some shea butter in there too, but I'm not going to. I always do too much, and then I'm like, no. All right, so that's that. So we get a couple more minutes on the rest of the weed, and then we'll. Do 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 do. -do. I guess you know somebody inboxed me and asked me to do this. Because they said they can never find this stuff. And then I just made... If you look at this, that's the remainders of my... Maybe I'll make some Rice Krispie treats tonight. I'll put some gloves on too. What do you think about that? <laughs> I usually do if I'm doing that stuff. Because it's sticky. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be good. What's that getting popular now? The uh, cocoa butter? The topical stuff? I guess, right? I don't know. I guess you can't just pop a Percocet anymore. Even though there is a time and a place to pop a Percocet, and I've been in that time and that place, and you just can't even get anything for pain anymore. I actually made some other stuff, too. Yeah, topicals, yeah. I guess they want everybody to use topicals. But I'll tell you, when, when Chris Christie was in the hospital with COVID in Morrison, I'm sure his fat ass was getting morphine and the Lord and everything else he wasn't doing no topicals I made some uh, this is actually butter that's gonna get cooked with this is not for retail so I made this I actually canned it too so it's gonna be taking a little trip yeah I'm sure that his fatty ass was was not just getting a friggin Tylenol it's ridiculous because I have uh, chronic pain from stenosis and, and I take two a leave just to get out of bed and then I take two a leave to go to bed. You know like that, that dude from the NFL that just died because he was taking all kinds of Tylenol and it blew out his liver and he died from liver failure. He just recently died because he didn't want to take the Toradol because that's what they give them for pain. So I figured he was okay with Tylenol and a leave and no, you're not. I mean, it, it does damage to your liver. 
I'd rather have a damn Percocet. So that's my Percocet rant for the day because there is a time and a place for opioids and narcotics. All right. So I'm going to put this in my bag and I'm going to let it infuse. Hmm. Anybody ever made this before? Do, 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 do. I gotta bring the dogs in too. They're outside. Alright, let's go back and look and see. We got six minutes on this. Let's see. How are we doing in here? Alright, this is drying up nice. This was so sticky, icky, icky. Always reminds me of Snoop Dogg when I have sticky, icky, icky stuff. Because that's what he says. <clears throat> sticky, icky, icky. Alright. And then I got this. Let's see how much of this I have. Do, 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 do. See, what I do is I put my, uh, I use a milk bag. And then I strain everything. So I strain it a couple times so there's no sticks or stems or anything in there. So we got some can of butter here. Put this in here because I'll make, uh, I'm making, uh, cocoa butter. Let me turn this around. Let me see if I can put this down. I'm making cocoa butter. Oops. Oh, there's, I got too much crap in my way here. here we go. I'm sorry. I'm just going to put this, I just scraped this off, so I'm just going to put this in. Because maybe I'll make some Rice Krispie Treats. I'm just super busy. This is the week that I'm, like, super busy, so I can't really do a whole lot. All right, so we got, like I said, comedy down at the joint tonight. Late night hump, 8 o'clock. Actually, they usually do a live. Jordan's it's up a live. All right. So this is my can of butter. All right. So that's what I just had left in the in the thing. This is what I'm making here. Yeah, it's Wednesday, right? I don't know. I, I never remember. We don't ever remember anything. I always say it's Ed, but now I'm as bad as he is. Gonna... All right, so let's see. All right, I think this is good. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. And then see what I do is I just melt that down. Yep, comedy night. Don't mind my kitchen. I'm actually in the process of redoing my house, ripping up the carpets and stuff, but I, I can't do a whole lot because... I have terrible stenosis pain, so I really have to limit my activity because I can't walk anymore. All right, so let's see how much butter I have just in the little thing that was out. Oh, okay, so that's good. I got two tablespoons of butter. I need three to make the Rice Krispie Treats, but I got, um, like I said, I made all these. I made a gallon of this. That's for weed meal, and then I got my cooking. So I'm going to cook with this. So we're all set. All right, so this should be good. So let's pull this out of the oven. What do you think? Hold on. Get what you deserve, baby. All right. Because actually it's going to keep cooking once we pull it out. So. All right, so there it is. Let me turn this around. Okay, so this is done now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it into my bag. And that's why I use the parchment paper, because I can just pick it up. You don't have to do that. I just, like I said, I make everything super simple. Everybody makes everything so fucking complicated. I just want to scream and pull my hair out of my head. Like, you know, life is not that complicated. So if you see me scream and run and leave me the fuck alone, that's what it is. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and put this in. Okay, I just put it in. So you want to see what I did? I'll show you what I did. Come here. 
See that? I just put it all in there. So there's my stuff right there. So that's it. All right. So let's do this. What I'm going to do. Yeah, the CBG is what's what's good for inflammation, I heard. CBG and um, that's also good for autoimmune stuff. I actually have that. The Stash Spot actually has um, CBD and CBG. I'm actually working with this new woman, Dana, and Incredible Edibles, Lisa. She makes all that stuff, too. So if anybody's looking for that, I have it. But, you know, most people are into the THC. Oops. I gotta get a stand. See, look at, I don't even have a stand to put my stuff on. Let's see, there's my bag. So this is the, that's my milk bag, and then I just put everything in there. I'm still gonna strain it though, even though I put it in the milk bag, but this is like a giant tea bag. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on low for a while. I put this on low for a while. Yeah, I don't, um, like the THC, like I, I'm a medical patient in the state of New Jersey. I have been for six years. But, um, like the THC, it takes the, um, it takes the edge off enough that I can sleep, but it doesn't take my pain away, to tell you the truth. I need a Percocet. I think I'm going to keep it in there until tomorrow morning. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it simmer for like just really, really low on warm for like 16 hours. I know you can do it in like an hour, it says, but I take all different recipes and I use them the way I like to. So that's what I do. So I think I'm going to let it sit for at least 16 hours is what I'm going to do. Should I add the shea butter in there? And then I'm going to add an emulsifier. I don't know, or I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to whip it up. So let's see. We'll see how it is. And then I want you guys got to tell me. Because, like I said, I've never done this before. This was my COVID project. I never did any of this before COVID. But then there was... Even though I can't say there's nothing to do because I'm a nurse, so... But this is like cooking with chocolate, so you can't make it too hot. You have to temper it. So that's why I'm putting it on, like, really low. I do the chocolate with the mushrooms. It smells good. Like I said, I put this on my son... And oh my goodness gracious, he is so nice and smooth and smells so good. Oh, I just want to eat him up. I had a patient that I took care of. And his skin was so nice. And I said to his wife, I'm like, what do you put on his skin? And she told me, the raw shea butter and the raw cocoa butter. That's what I put on my son. All right, so that's it. I just got it all over my shirt. So now, it's in there. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. But I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Yeah, I, actually, I've tried the um, CBGs, and the CBGs really help. There's gummies that are CBG. They really help. It's a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of, um, I met a lot of, like, really knowledgeable people that, you know, teach me a lot of stuff, and then I can pass on my knowledge to everybody else. Right? Sharing is caring, not just weed. Sharing is caring. Like when you learn something, you got to pass it on to the next person. And you're never too old to learn something new. All right, well, that's it. Let's put this in there. Okay. You know, this. don't put this shit on the, on the damn page with. with um, you see how people put shit on the page like they're selling weed and pills and guns and everything else? And then we try to put it on there, and then it's, uh, it's, uh, we get flagged for putting their stuff, telling you that it's fake. Some asshole always got to do it. Oh, when does the kitchen open back up? Actually, hmm, it should be open by, I'm going to say, hopefully Monday. But wait till you see it. Oh, my God, it is beautiful. 
We got a new counter in there with all the Rasta colors. It's beautiful. I'm going to redo the kitchen with the Rasta colors. Um, Fabio did that. The counter. Oh, my God. Wait until you see it. Wait until you see it. You're going to be like, oh, my God. All right. All right. So that's that. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to show it to you. Do, 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 do. Here we go. I'm going to show it to you now. So this is it just melting. So I'm going to let it sit. And then let's walk over here. I'm doing my dishes. I stepped in something. Go outside. Oh, there's Modi Mo. There's all three bad dogs. Modi Mo. Yeah, the kitchen will be back up. Yeah, hopefully Monday. Monday or Tuesday. Oh, jeez, they're killing each other out here. Everybody remember all the bad dogs? Look how dirty they're getting. These are all the bad dogs when they joined. That's Buds. And Freedom. Oh, my God, look at the dirt. And little Moody Moot. I little Moody Moot. Moody moat. All right, so you know what? We'll check back in the morning and then we'll see how that um, cocoa butter is doing. And then um, happy Wednesday. Remember, late night hump tonight. Comedy at the joint. Oh, yeah, the little guy. Come here, Buds and Freedom. Come here. Come here, Buds and Freedom. They're afraid of this little dog. Yeah, they're scared of him. Like, these two will kill each other for a bone. But Modi one time went up to Freedom, that's the, the gray and white one, and all he had to do was look at her and she dropped that bone, and that was it. And Modi was chewing that bone, because they're scared of, of Modi. I don't know why. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they have a toy here. This is, they, they also like to play with the little dog's toys. So they got this, see, they got the little rope, so they're playing with it. But if Modi went down there and wanted to take that rope, both of them would just stand there like a bunch of dopes. Looking. Alright, so we're going to check back with the with the cocoa butter in the morning. Like I said, late night hump. Uh, kitchen should be opening up again next week. And again, we're going to, uh, like I said, start using the sanctuary. So that's going to be cool. And, you know, everybody remember how we used to chill and hang out and have a good time in there? That's what we're going to do. This one, he is, this is the killer. Killer, right? Right, Modi? Oh, look at Modi. Come here, Modi. Hi, Modi. Modi, Modi. He's quick, too. He's, like, fast. One time he was running through the joint. One time and somebody said, oh, look, a ferret. <laughs> he had a ferret face. <laughs> All right. Everybody, uh, have a good evening. And I'll check back in the morning. And we'll see what our, our, our cocoa butter's doing. Buds likes to chase. Look. Buds is chasing the reflection of my phone. It's reflecting. He likes to chase the light. That's what he's doing. That's what he sees. And this dummy over here. Oh, you got the dot? Where's dot? He's a dope. Right, Bodie? <laughs> They're all just looking. All right, guys. Happy Wednesday. All right, so yesterday I said I was making the, um, this is, um, Cocoa butter. This is cocoa and shea butter. I'm making these little samples. So it's cocoa and shea butter infused. I'm going to get my jars tomorrow and put it in there. Got a little bit of coconut oil in there. But you have to take it and put it in your hand and warm it up. So this is it here. See, it gets hard like this because it's this is raw cocoa butter. And raw shea butter. So how you use this, and this is how I use it on my son. You take it and you put it in your hands. Buds and freedom! You take it and you put it in your hands. And you just warm it up. And then you can put it on your body. No, um, it should be open a uh, couple days. But this is the, um, this is the cocoa butter. Alright, so this is what everybody was asking for. But you just put it in your hand, you warm it up. And then you spread it on. So that's it right there. But the back is open. Alright. So this is it. 
And this is like so good, the cocoa butter and the... Uh, Oh, I don't know who's responding. Yeah. Yeah, all the new equipment is there. Yep. Mm -hmm. But that's the um, the cocoa butter and the shea butter right there. So there it is. I'm just going to put it in the, um, in the containers. They're coming tomorrow. But I should put some on my shoulder. And it actually smells really good. It smells like cocoa butter. And the shea butter. It really, really is nice so that's it right there this is gonna harden up and it's gonna look like this so it looks like this and like anybody that has used raw cocoa butter or shea butter you know you take the little pieces you put it in your hand I don't want to do too much because this is infused I'm being all fucked up and then you just warm it up how do you become a member you you go down there it's a hundred dollars for six months and then you get all kind of member benefits which i can explain to you but you come down there sign up get your picture taken um and that's how you become a member a hundred dollars for six months and then you do not have to pay the ten dollars at the door there's all kind of member incentives and perks which i can't talk about on here but yeah you can come down you can ask for chanel when you're down there but that's the um, cocoa butter. Oh my goodness. Lovely. I should put it on my shoulder. But you know what? I'm going to get my... I'm going to get my... Um, I'm going to get my... Uh, I'm going to put it on my shoulder. Look. Oh yeah, being a member is worth it. We're actually going to make it even more worth it, Samantha. So, that, you know, like I said, members get all kinds of perks and stuff. There's member discounts. There's a special VIP member counter that you can come right in. You don't have to wait in the big long line. And the sanctuary is going to be open for uh, members limited. I'm just putting this because I got pain in my shoulder. So let's see. Put that on there. Oh, this is lovely. All right. So that's it. Don't mind me. I just came from, I had my windows open while I was driving in the car. I just came from work. Yeah, being a member is worth it, and we're going to make it even more because we uh, really appreciate the members. All right, so this is it. So this will be down there. And like I said, this smells, oh, my God, just like cocoa butter. You just want to eat it because, you know, you make uh, chocolate out of cocoa butter. But that's it there. I'm going to make these little, these are going to be, actually, we could give these out to members, too. <clears throat> Thank you. And we still are going to have some of the uh, outside vendors available. So don't worry about that. But we're going to have the sanctuary open because now we can have 50% capacity. So we'll have the sanctuary open uh, for members. It's, it's actually a member only type of thing too. You come in and chill for a little bit. You can't hang out in there and, and spend all day. But you certainly can come in and roll up, talk to us, chill, and uh, fellowship. All right, so let's see if my shoulder feels better. I think it does, but I think I might be a little bit high from the <laughs> from the stuff. All right, so this is, I'm going to have these for like little samples. Um, I'm actually probably not going to be down there till tomorrow. Tomorrow night, I'm going to New York City tomorrow morning. And then I might be down in Trenton tomorrow night. So this stuff will be there, but definitely over the weekend we'll be there, okay? So I just wanted to show you what was going on with this stuff. Give you the updates on the joint. Yeah. I don't know, Rachel. You poured a big glass of something. There it is, right there. Next to the toaster. Is that yours? I'm trying to put the lid on this. I'll put these in the refrigerator. Harden them up, but you can keep these at room temperature. And apparently, these are not. Uh, this is like really hard to get. Somebody asked me to make this because they can't get it. But again, I want feedback. So if you get one of these, man, I, just, I want everybody's feedback. I want your constructive criticism 
as to what I can do to make it better. Ooh, yeah, that feels good. I put that on my shoulder. Oh, I love the smell of it. I love the smell of it. All right, guys. Uh, tomorrow, Friday night, is um, formerly known artists. Formerly known artists are there. Eight to eleven, you guys. Ten dollars, or I don't know if they charge fifteen at the door. That's their event, so I think it might be fifteen at the door, maybe ten. I don't know. Got a DJ. Nicole is actually spinning the records during the day. Jerome is taking a little break. So Nicole is there. She's our DJ today and tomorrow at the joint. She might even still be there now. I don't know because I'm way up here. I don't know where it is. All right, so here's the. That's that. Oh, I tried to put this lid on and I fucked it up. Okay. Alright, so that's that. So those are... I'm going to put them into the fridge. These I'll have for samples. All right, so let's put them in here. But we got a. Uh, let me see. And then I have my other. Oh, that feels nice. I like I said, I made this. This is actually going to be used in cooking. This is not going to be down there. But that's the other. That's the cooking stuff. So let's take this and let's put this in here. So we're going to refrigerate that and get it, you know, so it, it solidifies. I might make some Rice Krispie treats tonight. What do you guys think of that? All right. Oh, yeah. You know what? Same to you. I, I was reading your stuff. Congratulations on all that. That is, like, awesome. Awesome, awesome to you. Very impressive. So this I made. This is not edible. Actually, this is Shea. And cocoa butter and just a little tiny bit of um, a little tiny bit of coconut. So it's cocoa butter, raw cocoa butter, raw shea butter, and a little bit of coconut oil. So that's it. Yeah, you know, I should be there on Sunday. I should be there on Sunday. I gotta look and see if we got anything, Carol. So hopefully you're feeling better. So let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna move my arm. You know I don't want to be like oh wow you know like this is like I'm rubbing it on there that it's great. But oh my god, right? That, that's great. That's like a good thing. I mean I look like hell. That is a good thing. And congratulations on all your success. I think that's just great. Absolutely awesome. Now we all just need to get our rec licenses and then we're all set. Right? Because we deserve it. All the friggin' legacy people deserve that. Alright, so this I'm going to put into four ounce containers. I have little um, like lotion containers. I'm going to put it in tomorrow. And everything will be... Um, it'll be down there this weekend, okay? Alright, so let me go. I'm going to go get Modi. I'm going to go over here. Because my little Modi Moat. Hi, Modi Moat. Look at this little Modi Moat. Buds and Freedom are out there doing something bad. But Buds hears me talking about it. You doing something bad, Buds? Woo! Everybody remembers Buds, right? Hi, Buds. Get off the screen. I Did you lose your mind? You lost your mind, right? He lost his mind on that dog. These are two bad dogs. Three bad dogs. Modi's going to be starting Canine Academy. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, look, she did. Yeah, look, Freedom ran away with, with Modi. Did you see that? She took the leash and dragged Modi away. But anyhow, Modi's going to be going to, to to Canine Academy. Like, you know where the uh, where the attack dogs go? Modi's going to be one of those police dogs. Because he does. He is on the canine unit. Oh, Modi, Mo, what'd they do to you? Okay, guys. Happy, um, I don't know, Thursday? Everybody take care.
And we'll hope to see you at the joint. Yeah, you have a wonderful night, too. And like I said, congratulations on all the stuff that you're doing. That is awesome. And I know you're up here, so if people ask me, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to give them your name, and then I just need cards. So I don't know if you can get me cards or what you can do so I can, you know, pass them out to people, you know, because we all got to help each other out, right? Sharing is caring. That's a culture. People don't get that. That's the culture. All right, Modi's crying. I got to go because my baby's crying. All right, guys, happy Thursday. Okay, here I am. This is the uh, cocoa and shea butter. This is it right here. I have little samples, too. Right there. So this is the cocoa and shea butter. I'm just bottling it up right now. So this is it. Let's just put it in here. I'm just going to put it right in here like this. This is four ounces. All right. Get, get, get. We're going to take this little top. I'm going to put it right on there. And I'm going to... Let me turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. Hold on, I'm going to turn you around. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so here's the little container. All right. That's a container right there. This is the... Oops! This is the cocoa and shea butter. I just want to get the camera out so you can see it. That's the cocoa and shea butter. So I'm just going to pour it into the thing. So you guys can see what it looks like. And this is topical. I actually put this on yesterday. It smells really nice. Help with the pain in my shoulder. These are other jars. Alright, so we're going to take a four ounce jar. That's it. Can you see it? Fucking tape is irritating me. Okay, so that's it. That's the uh, cocoa and shea butter. I just got the rest of it draining over here to take as much as I can. But I have, um, let me show you what it looks like when it's done. This is the uh, samples that I made. I have to clean these jars off because I spilt some on there so it's greasy. I don't even know if I can get one of these jars open now. Okay, so here's a jar open. So this is the shea and cocoa butter. This is infused. All right, so that's it right there. These are just little samples. All right, we're going to take the four ounces. I put it in this jar so there wouldn't be any confusion. Because this is a cosmetic drawer. And I'm going to put our stickers on it, of course. Right. So like I said, I showed you what it looked like. Let's see if I got the perfect pour. Eh, almost. Almost, almost. So this is just the rest of the... I have the bag dripping, so... Alright, so that's the perfect pour. That's it right there. And if you see it, look at that color. Nice and green. All right, so there's my... This is topical rub. That's infused. Again, if you want to see what it looks like. I should have left that jar out. What the hell? This is what it looks like when it's all done. You know, and it's hard. What you do is you take it, you put it in the palm of your hand, you warm it up. That's what you do. It's raw shea and cocoa butter. So you take it, you put it in your hand, you warm it up, and then you put it on topically. All right. So that's it. Whoops. That's 
Christmas stuff right there. So it's all done. I just have to label this up. And then we'll be in business. How much is what one? I can't really say that on here. I'm on Facebook. They're going to flag me again. But um, it'll be down there at the joint. This is a, a four ounce. So this is like the butter. I know if you've come down and you've uh, had our butter, you know that it's like 45. For four ounces. And then this, I just have this kind of See what I do? I, I put it in a milk bag and then I'm just letting it, I just put it in a strainer and I just let it strain out, get everything out of it. That's what I do. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, but everything's pretty much all done. Actually, there is some more left in here. I'm just uh, I'm just getting everything out of the crock pot. Don't mind me. Do 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 do. Okay, and then like I said, we're just gonna let this sit and drain the milk bag. Let that drain. That's all done. All right, so everything's done. That's it. The shea and cocoa butter. If you like shea and cocoa butter, it's shea cocoa butter and a little bit of uh coconut oil so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some stickers for that right now and I make the stickers like this these are my clear stickers and I'm gonna actually sticker well actually I could sticker the top and the bottom but you know what I don't want to turn that over so this is the bottom of the jar and the jar looks like this it has a little thing you pull it up it's a cosmetic jar so I could actually put this on the bottom. I don't know. What do you guys think? I could put a, a Weed Man sticker on the bottom. But, um, oh, happy Friday. Happy Friday. I can put this right on top here. But I need to put what it is. So this is basically what it's going to look like. See? Can you see that? Let me do it on another one. So I can turn it. I can't turn these because they're wet. So this is basically what it's going to look like. And this is uh, Shea. Shea and... Um, what did I say? I said Shea butter. Raw Shea butter. Raw cocoa butter. And coke, a little bit of coconut oil. So I'm just going to put these in the frigid air. And I'm going to make some stickers. And I'm going to fix them up. So if you come to the joint, you will be able to see them. Now tonight at the joint, what do we got tonight at the joint? We got a formerly known artist tonight. $10 at the door. They are always a good time. Those kids are so talented. They put on a showcase that is unbelievable. So, you know, show your support. All right. Also, like I said, I'm just going to clean these up because I spilt all over. So I just got to... Clean up my jars a little bit. And then these will be down there too. Again, this is the sample. I really did spill a lot of this. And what you do with with, um, with raw shea butter is it comes, it, it solidifies at room temperature. So you just take it, you hold it in your hand. And it, most people know this. You take it, you hold it in your hand, and you just melt it down. And then you can use it as you would, you know, normally use it. So I just gotta clean those up. So that's all made. I got all my stuff made. Maybe I'll make some treats later, but I'm not really wanna do it right now. Not really feeling it. Okay. All right, so that's it, you guys. And I just, um, I'll show you over here. Let me turn you around, I'll show you what I do. What I do is I just take my, um, milk bag and I just sit it in a strainer and I just let it sit and I let it drain out so all the uh 
have all the cocoa butter will come out. I, I kind of move it around, but see, there's even more there on the bottom. We get a little bit more out of there. And like I said, this is how it looks when it solidifies. This is how you use it. You just put it in your hand, you melt it, and then you put it on. You know, and it's topical. It's, you put it on as as a uh, uh, it's a pain lotion. Somebody actually asked me to make it. So here's Princess. Hi, Princess Mary Jane. So somebody asked me to make it, so it's made. It's going to look like this in the jar. And then hopefully I'll get some positive feedback. You guys let me know what you think of it, okay? All right, again, tonight, formerly known artists are there tonight, 8 o'clock, $10 at the door. I think if you bring a buddy, you get like, I don't know, maybe a joint or something. They're giving away. But that's our shea, cocoa, and a little bit of coconut. Topical pain rub at NJ Weed Man's Joint. See it? NJ Weed Man's Joint. Lots of happenings. All right, you guys, happy Friday. Hopefully, we'll see some of you guys down there tonight. Otherwise, we got um, our regular weekend hours, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. For the back, the kitchen should be opening back up. You guys are going to love it. The renovations. Also, um, Monday through Friday, the back is open from 12 to 8 p.m. 12 to 8 p.m., $10 at the gate. Otherwise, if you're a member, you come in free. There is a member counter, so you're going to get VIP service. Come right in. You don't have to really wait unless there's a whole bunch of members there. But there's a counter there just um, strictly designated for members right now. Also, uh, Sunday on the patio is going to be Ziggy Isaac. He plays, and he plays all kinds of genres of music, so he's great. We got Nicole, who is actually on the patio. She was on the patio yesterday and today. She's one of the DJs that comes by. And um, just check out, because I'm booking a lot of events and stuff. If you would like to play at the joint, you got to hit us up. Just inbox and let me know. Otherwise, like I said, the back is open Monday through Friday from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, that's different from the restaurant hours. All right, the um, on the weekends, the back is open from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right, and then again, like I said tonight, formerly known artist, $10 at the gate. Okay, all right, everybody, happy Friday.